Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMomaRemote.com and today I'm coming to do a pregnancy update. This is week 15 and I'm like, I'm like 16 weeks. You could say I'm 16 weeks, but I'm going to do week 15. Um, okay, so this week was a very um, trying week for me. Uh, so let's say this weekend... Um, I start, oh, okay, well, one thing, this weekend I had a toothache, and, uh, maybe a couple months ago, a filling fell out of one of my teeth, so I had a really slow drag to go back and get it filled, and then, um, I, as I was flossing, um, the tooth that the filling came out, like, a piece of the tooth broke off, so, um, like I say, this weekend it started hurting, Oh, okay, then another thing. On this side, I have a crown. I had a root canal, I had a crown. The crown fell off. <laughs> so, when I was, I was usually always, I would usually chew on this side, right? But then, when the filling came out, I started chewing on this side more, and the crown came off. Because I was having problems with the crown anyway, right? So the crown came off. So it seems like when I start chewing on this side, it, you know, annoyed the tooth or whatever. So I had a toothache this weekend. <clears throat> and it got to a point where I was taking Tylenol, but it wouldn't stop hurting. Like, my, the whole side of my face was hurting. Um, I wasn't able to, like, cook this weekend. Maybe once or Sunday I cooked brunch after church. Um, so we have been like ordering out pizza, ordering out because like I said, I was really pretty much in the bed with the curtains closed and just trying to relax. Right. So I said, okay. Um, so Tuesday I went to get the tooth pool and the reason I got the tooth pool was, well, this seemed like more of a tooth update than a pregnancy update. But anyway, the reason I got the, wanted to get the tooth pool because like this tooth on this side, that I tried to save and got the crown. Now the crown fell off. Now I'm going to have to have work done on it again. And I don't know. I just feel like it's like annoying to like keep getting teeth worked on over and over again. You know, after you get a root canal or whatever. So I have like two crowns on my front tooth teeth. When I was younger, I failed, chipped both of my front teeth. So since that time, I've had the two front teeth worked on at least four times at least four times so even with the two front teeth I can't wait to get work done on those again because now I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant I just don't know why it's like now my gums like my two front teeth gums are you can tell they're like a little inflamed like swollen and they like just irritate right so but anyway so I went to get this tooth pulled and you know go to the dentist and He's like, you know, every, do, you know, do you have any pre-existing diseases or anything? I said, I have asthma and I'm pregnant. He was like, oh, we don't want to pull your tooth. Now I had done all the research before I went. You know, I looked up things on people getting their t teeth pulled when they are pregnant. I looked up, you know, about going to the dentist when you're pregnant. Because when the crown first came, not the crown, when the um, filling first came out, I'm like, okay, what, you know, do I do? Do I go to the dentist? Am I able to go to the dentist? Because, you know, when you go to the dentist, they like, always ask you, are you pregnant? You know, they put the covering on you, over you to protect you and stuff like that. So, all the research I've done, they've said to don't neglect your teeth during your pregnancy because it could get worse, right? So, he was like, you know, he didn't want to pull my teeth. I was like, he was due to stress. I said, well, I understand. I said, but to me, it's causing me more stress because I'm not able to do anything. I'm not able to function. You know, I have a family that I need to be, you know, help doing stuff, taking care of. I have a family that I need to be taking care of. And I can't do it because I'm in a bed. And who wants to take Tylenol throughout the six months of your pregnancy? You know, I just don't want to take Tylenol. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to do it. Anyway, so he pulled the tooth. And he was really good. I mean, he didn't put no gel on my teeth and nothing. To, I mean, on my gums to numb it or anything. He gave me like three shots. I didn't even feel him when he gave me the shot. But the thing about it is, because I've had my wisdom teeth pulled before. 
and it's like even though it wasn't painful you know i didn't actually i didn't feel any pain but the pressure the pressure of somebody just pulling your teeth out your head is like just so strange to me right so i kind of uh, after i had gotten it pulled i understood what he meant about the stress because you know i'm getting it, he pulling it out i'm like oh lord don't let me feel any pain and i'm praying you know why he's doing it so i'm like okay i understand what he meant about the stress so hopefully the one that needs the work done on a crown which i'm getting it pulled i am not getting another crown on this tooth um hopefully this one that needs the crown um last until after i have the baby and my two front teeth those will be the work i get done after i have the baby because i really really want it done and the two front teeth i am this is tmi <laughs> a little bit too transparent for me right but i do want to get them pulled and get dentures i just really do not want to deal with the gum issue you know anymore i just oh it's so annoying it's always it's always something with the two front teeth right but anyway and like i said it's been like that since i fell since i first fell when i was younger and have been getting it worked on ever since right like i said i've gotten it done like four times and that happened maybe when i was 13. but anyway so i got the tooth pulled so um i've just been healing and um i'd be glad when you know it feels back to normal <laughs> then I got to go through it again with the other three. Um, but so that's how the beginning of my week went. So um, let me ask some questions and then I get to like the food part of it with the, you know, tooth issue. Um, so how far along are you? Are you like I said, I'm like 16 weeks, but I'm doing week 15. How big is the baby? I didn't check. I'm sure it's about four inches now. I didn't check the size of the baby this time. Um, total weight gain. I go to the doctor on Monday and like I said, I'm not going to be measure, um, weighing myself every week. No, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. I'm only going to weigh myself when I go to the doctor. Maternity clothes. No, I haven't bought anything else from what I said maybe like two videos ago. I haven't bought anything else. Sleep. Um, I've been sleeping okay considering like I had the toothache this week. Um, I've been sleeping okay. And yeah that's it with that um best moment this week like i said this week was a really trying week so i can't even say i had a best moment um i had the tooth pull okay that was one event with the toothache T um yesterday um my grandmother called me let me know my cousin was killed so that just really really um blew my week you know really really um yesterday was really really uh, a bad day for me emotionally so i tried to just really relax um do what i could around the house um and then just relax um me and jayla did go to the park yesterday so that probably would be um if i you know, want to want make sure i pull something good out of this week was we went to the park and um some moms from our church we they meet at the park every thursday so me and jayla went yesterday um so it had like a splash pad and stuff so that was real good for her to be able to play so that'll be our thursday um outing since she's out for school um so that was yesterday as well as yesterday um i got a call that my daughter had a, my oldest daughter had a seizure so that just really after him my cousin was murdered and then her having a seizure and she's in new york so she's so far away and that was just it, that really set me off because this is her second one so like the first one she had really really threw me um you know like i said with her being so far away it's really really um it's really hard <laughs> so yesterday was like i said a really really a rough day for me um so like I said, I just try to relax and not get so, because I was overwhelmed, really overwhelmed yesterday. So I tried to like minimize it as much as possible. I listened to some praise and worship music. I didn't take a nap yesterday. Or did I? I don't even remember. It seems like I didn't take a nap. I don't think I took a nap yesterday. Um, the other couple of days I did take a little nap. 
So I did get a nap in. So, like I said, the best moment this week would be um, going to the park, you know, with Jayla, with the other moms and kids. Um, but overall, my week was really, really, really a rough week. Um, I deal with my daughter's seizures, just so you'll know. When she played um, basketball in college and she suffered some concussions, so we know that's what the seizures are coming from. Um, so just like, uh, just a, just a little mom advice. If your kid is going away, um, to college on a scholarship, um, be very cautious, be very mindful. Um, I think sometimes we can get so caught up in the scholarship that you neglect the health. Now, when she, when she was here, okay, when she, before she went to college, I want to say, I don't remember if it was her junior year or senior year. She got her first concussion in high school. And so that was the first one. Um, hmm, I think it was her junior year. Okay, so she was fine, senior year. Freshman year in college, she got another one. So that was two. So, you know, at that time, me and my husband, you know, we're like, okay, you know, you really need to reconsider this. Um, now, when we went to the, um, whatever, when you go to the initial visit, when you go to the college or whatever, the um, director over the sports um, told me, he was like, if she gets injured, we um, we honor her scholarship. You know, so I told her, I said, he told us that he honors your scholarship. You know, but being a kid, um, being a kid and also an adult, because when your kids go off to college, um when they turn 18 you have no like no say um like if something happened they go go to your kid you get what i'm saying like the doctors are ask your kid is it okay for them to tell you you get what i'm saying so it's like when they're trying to be an adult but they're not an adult they still need us for that wisdom and then when they want to be an adult they don't listen you get what i'm saying so but anyway so second concussion we were like really reserved like okay she needs to reconsider this third concussion we were, we're like okay you need to let go you know of course she did not listen coming up after that she ended up with two more concussions and it may be three more concussions so it may be it's, it could be between five to six concussions based on what she's saying because she didn't tell us about the others after we told her at the third one, you need to really reconsider this. This is not, you know, really good for you. She didn't tell us about the other concussions. And the fact that I believe, like, the coaches, when your kid get injured, they should call you. Even though they say, um, you know, think the child will call, they should call you too. They should call you, you know, because she did not let us know. Until she ended up in the hospital. Um... And that's when we found out that she had more concussions. So, like I say, the seizures are coming from that. So, that's just... Alright, next question. Symptoms. Like last week I said that I was I had some energy. I am still tired. I had energy like for one week. And now I'm just back to the same. Just really, really tired. So... Um, I have like a spurts of energy if, if I what I need to do is do what I need to do in the morning and then the rest <laughs> I'm just done you know I may have a little energy to do something later on in the evening but what I just have to realize I'm just like you know what I just have to embrace this um, season of my life you know because I mean I would just be so like oh like oh my gosh the kitchen isn't cleaned or I didn't do the laundry. I mean, I would really beat myself up. And I really have to say, you know what, Nicole? You really have to embrace this season. Your body is telling you that you need rest and you need to rest. And that's, I mean, just what I have, I've had to do. And just really had to, like, certain things, like all my things that I've done. Um, You know, when the kids are in school, I can't do, you know, the pregnancy center. Uh, What else I was doing? Well... Bible study is over anyway. Moms in prayer is over anyway. So all those things that I did, I'm glad most of our are over with. But like some things I just have to say, okay, I cannot do it this season because I really, really, really 
need to rest and conserve as much energy as I, you know, as I can. So, that's the symptom, pretty much the, um, the tired, just overly tired. I'm not nauseous anymore. I'm not getting sick after I eat anymore. Um, but the tooth has been affecting my eating. <laughs> okay, food cravings. Um, not many food cravings, like I said, because I haven't been able to eat like I want to this week. Um, when I went to the dentist to have my tooth pulled, I had made up uh, some, I made some potato and onion cream of, cream of potato and onion soup. I put it in a crock pot. I put like two onions, chopped up two onions, put it in a crock pot, about, um, eight or ten potatoes in a crock pot with some heavy whipping cream some cream of chicken and i just let it simmer in a crock pot on low for a few hours seasoned it up real good and then i used a little mixer to mix it and really cream it so i've been eating that for the past few days and i'm tired of it right now so i've been eating that i've been eating yogurt I made Jello the first day. I am not a fan of Jello, but um, I did make some Jello. So I just been eating soft things. So I haven't been able to. If I have a craving, I just gotta like, no, you can't because I'm waiting. You know my tooth. Um, you know that part is healing. Um, so I haven't been able to really enjoy what I want to this week as far as cravings. Um, food aversion, still the chocolate, but I went to the store the other day and I wanted a Reese's cup so bad. <laughs> I really did um but that's pretty much still it the chocolate gender still you know not sure about if we're gonna find that out labor sign boop, throughout the window belly button still in um what I miss <sighs> my energy <laughs> Still missing my energy I'm sure I'll probably get it at the end and then a, like a lot of the things you know we're purging and a lot of things I need to move from one room to the other room and of course I need my husband to do that because I can't move it but it's big items and it's so funny because I was telling him yesterday what I need him to do I need I got a big cubby in my daughter's room that I want to move to the family room and it was in the family room before and then the dresser that we have in the family room for our tv i want to move back to the dining room it was in the dining room before so it's so funny he looked at me like you are nuts i know i'm nuts so i just need to move some things around so i can get stuff organized continue to purge and just make room um because we, we only have three bedrooms so baby will be sleeping in my youngest room we're just trying to make room and make things look nice so that's what um um that's it so once i get my energy you know i can make sure i knock out a lot of these projects um what i'm looking forward to regaining my energy <laughs> um milestones um, no really milestones this week that I could think of because like I say I thought I had my energy back and it's gone again and the constipation is still there I haven't been taking a stool softeners like I should um but um because it seems like when I take them it don't work every day I'm expecting if I take them I want to use the bathroom the next day <laughs> so they haven't been working um that well for me and probably because I haven't been consistent I maybe need to get consistent so I could get a little bit more regular so the constipation is still the same um let me just I want to tell y'all a couple things that I'm loving uh this week what has been helpful one is the Tylenol because like I say with the pain I have been needing to take the Tylenol um, and then one is a body pillow I've been using. I had bought it for my son maybe last year from Costco because he would always take the pillow that's on the couch, one of the big pillows on the couch downstairs. He was like, I was like, you want a body pillow or something? So I saw one at Costco and got it, but he really didn't like it. So I've been using the body, body pillow, especially when I was in pain. <laughs> um, the body pillow came in really helpful, handy. The body pillow came in really handy. So, um that worked out and what else I think those are like the two things that have really um 
been my favorites this week and been helpful. Yeah, I think that's it. So I would like to thank you guys for watching my 15 week update, pregnancy update. And if you have any pregnancy updates that you just um, posted, leave them in the comments below. Watch how you leave them though, because if you just say, come check out my channel, I just posted my stuff go to spam and not until I get on my computer, I can pull it out to spam. So, um, I guess you got to watch how you say it. Don't say come to my channel or something. Say I have a pregnancy update. I don't know how to say it, but it usually goes to spam. I noticed that a lot. So I got to pull it out of spam. But if you have one, just leave it down below. Um, and I'll come out, come and check out your video. And I think that's all y'all. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.